Hi, this is Dr. Shore again. I'm going to talk a little bit about varicoceles, what they are, when they should be fixed, and what a patient can expect after having a repair. A varicocele is a varicose vein or a dilated vein that surrounds the testicular vasculature. The testicle hangs in the scrotum, which is the sac, by a cord. Inside the cord contains the uh, artery to the testicle called the internal spermatic artery and it, contains, and it contains some veins. The veins can get dilated and uh, become varicose, just like varicose veins of the legs. When this happens, a number of things uh, happen to the environment in which the testicles reside. One, the testicles become too hot. They normally reside in the scrotum because they need to be two degrees cooler than the rest of the body. In the presence of a varicocele, the heat metabolism within the testicle is altered so that the testicle uh, becomes too hot. Sperm are damaged when testicles are too hot. Uh, they're damaged in uh, ways that we can see on a seam analysis such as uh, abnormal low sperm counts abnormal low sperm motilities or alterations and abnormalities in sperm morphology. Often, however, uh, sperm are damaged in ways that we can't detect on a laboratory test. The only abnormality that exists is that the couple can't get pregnant and there's no other factor uh, that can uh, uh, cause this condition. Other things that varicoceles do is that they alter metabolism of uh, certain um, waste products such as uh, superoxide or oxygen free radicals and also he heavy metals such as nickel and cadmium and in the presence of uh, these compounds the uh, testicle uh, production or sperm production and function will be injured as well so basically if someone in general uh, has a varicocele that is a clinically significant one which means that the urologist can detect it on physical exam uh, and uh, feels that clinically it is causing or contributing to the couple's fertility problem, uh, then, it, then the varicocele should be fixed. Varicocele surgery has been around for about 100 years, and the association of varicoceles with infertility has been known for about as many years. Despite all the advances in uh, reproductive health for both men and women, the varicoceleotomy is still uh, in there as, as a uh, bona fide and valuable treatment of infertility in couples. Uh, it, uh, we do know statistically that uh, uh, when there are abnormalities in uh, sperm count or motility, morphology, etc., uh, that uh, these abnormalities will improve uh, approximately two-thirds of the time. We also know that one-half of couples will get pregnant naturally within a year after having had a varicocele fixed. Uh, personally, uh, uh, I do believe the literature and I, uh, its selected patients recommend that we fix varicoceles. Caveats to that or reasons that I would not fix a varicocele would be if uh, uh, the woman is uh, uh, of an advanced maternal age, uh, and I think that the couple would be better off going straight to uh, in vitro uh, or ICSI uh, to have a baby, uh, uh, or if uh, uh, anatomically it's uh, not possible to fix the varicocele in a safe fashion because of the man's uh, general health and so on. Um, or if I don't think the varicocele is clinically significant or causing the uh, problem. Uh, so uh, that's kind of my views on varicoceles. Uh, uh, I would fix a varicocele for a man with severely low sperm counts. Not all urologists would do that. Uh, those of us who are in the uh, profession and do this a lot know that uh, you can actually uh, get significant improvement uh, even with severely uh, low sperm counts, even no sperm uh, in men with varicoceles. The rationale for this is uh, not so much that you're going to take someone with a sperm count of a million and make them go to 20 million, but you could take somebody with a sperm count of a million, which is severely low, and uh, 
get them up to five or six or eight million. Uh, this is a major improvement, and, and clinically, the significance of it is that prior to the varicocele, the couple would have had to have, have gone for in vitro and most likely ICSI, uh, which are very expensive procedures. And after the varicocele, they could potentially uh, do well with an artificial insemination, which is significantly less expensive. Uh, so any questions, uh, please feel free to contact the office, and I look forward to seeing you. Thanks.